Hello to everyone. Uh, my name is Simran. Um, I have come from a Bandikoi family, and um, this is the fourth generation in my family who has been worshiping Lord Shiva, Aka Hera Khan Baba Ji. Um, so, um, how do I start? Um, so, I mean. Um, my dad ji uh, you can say that you know uh, he know baba ji he knows baba ji since the day of his arrival um so how he met him was that you know he was uh, he he retired as a professor and um, bandikui i belong to a bandikui family so bandikui uh, used to be uh, you know an english colony and uh, one day he was giving a tuition where in the house he saw a photo and he got so much attracted by that photo that he couldn't stop himself and he asked about it that who is he and he said that you know this is uh, mahendra baba ji and he couldn't stop his soul and he went searching for him and we when when he finally met him he just surrendered himself then he introduced my bade dada ji to him and so on you know the the tradition went on in my family um he lived with mahindra baba ji for so long and you know i have so many stories to share for example um i i I'll, i'll i'm going to share it later in the story but then what i remember was uh, what i remember is that um, he told me that you know mahindra baba ji told him once that um, when i will be going my my god my my power my supreme power with you know uh, whom i'm searching like you know i've spent my life searching he'll be coming and then he told him that you know this is the location you have to go there etc etc so basically what he did was he he gave him an entire map and my innocent dada ji he just you know came and all with, with all of his gang and um, he was waiting you, you know they they all, all the boys all the people they were there you know at the tree and you know they were just waiting that you know from this gufa you know the baba ji is going to come out uh finally the time came and they saw a light and then you know the baba ji came so what my dada ji tells me is that you know he came as a very poor you know very thin thin guy like very very young man maybe in his teen 16 17 years old but when you see his photos right he has changed over a period of 14 years he has changed a lot i heard that he never saw him eating anything my bade dada ji peer ji you know he used to be very close with him he used to t- give him baths he used to you know hang around with him all the time and sometimes he was so i would say he was so childish that you know he he used to uh, offer him prasad that no baba ji you have to eat it no matter what and baba ji was like i can't eat it but it's like no you have to eat it so again you know this is what uh, i have grown up hearing um i feel that you know it's very important because you see this is the fourth generation and our belief is so strong it's so rooted just by listening the stories and with those stories we feel the presence that you know um we we are blessed we are you know one of a kind in this whole world where we have um, you know blessings of lord shiva baba ji in our family and um, um that continued uh, baba ji you know showered a lot of love and lot of blessings to our family and uh, with his uh, with his permission and with his all the love we we have uh, mandir in bandikwe as well and uh, which is again uh, baba ji's wish all 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 done by baba ji baba ji um got three sets of murti made um one um, you know of course one is in vrindavan we have one mandir over here as well and the murtis which are which are established in bandikwe mandir that is also given by baba ji uh, so we have uh, mahindra maharaj we have munindra maharaj and then we have hera khan baba itself um one day uh, you know my uh, bade dada ji was giving bath to baba in in, in this river gautami ganga and um, maybe it was his lucky day and i don't know what happened but then dada ji you know just just um, 
you know uh, pulled out a shivling from gautami ganga itself and gave it to my dada ji stating that it's sakshat uh, uh, lord kedarnath himself um so that shivling has been in the family from since then and you know we've been worshiping it people who have you know um did uh, who have uh, experienced the darshan of uh, you know how have uh, uh you know exp- ha- people who have uh, seen um, that particular uh, shivling or kedarna ji have experienced uh, you know uh, uh, what i would say like you know brahman that's what we call as a universe so the feeling is very strong and um, uh, you know i think one should experience that itself so as i said that you know within a click you know within within just a second baba can make you experience so many things that you can never imagine the wish needs to come in your heart and you know you never know when it's going to get fulfilled because now in today's world i would say, i i think it's not thing but it's a true thing that we are moving towards the western culture and with this movement you know we are somehow leaving our you know roots behind and it's not that the best part about sanatan dharma is that it does not ask you which is not doable or which is impossible it just it just make you realize that if you do this, these things you can attain peace you can attain you know sanity mind sanity which is very very important for the survival in today's world no matter what where have you gone how much you have achieved how much money you have but until unless you don't have that inner peace you won't be able to survive so once you feel the love the blessing baba ji has for you you will automatically follow that path so i think that it's it's important because this is something which you can actually pass to your generation this is something where you can actually find the peace in this high rushed world no matter what you need to prioritize that you know once once um, i have my peace you know it's it's something which will it's like a fuel you know to your machine if you have that you will be able to achieve it in a more efficient way so i think it's very very important it's it's something which is beyond beyond uh, explanation one has to feel it and the best part about this place is that you know even the air says om namah shivaya it has a vibration you i'm i'm here right now um on the third fourth day of navratra and uh, it has a different vibe it has you know you will experience all the things you will experience water you will experience air you will experience wo- you know fire i think these are the th- three main elements of our existence so this place has it all so one should come experience it and maybe next time i'll be hearing your story <laughs> that what you has to share bolivaba ki bolivaba ki jai thank you so much for watching this